Good morning ladies and gentlemen, my name is Napoleon Toggle and today we're back with another free-to-play guide for Unlisted. In today's case, we're going to be doing Moscow, and to be exact, Access Moscow because it is one of the first campaigns in Enlisted. This video has obviously been made possible for the friends at Discord, meaning that if you haven't liked, subscribe, or join the Discord, I highly, highly suggest that you do. But that said, let's get started. For Axis Moscow, the first three units that you have are going to be your tank squad, the Panzer II, the infantry squad, the rifleman squad, the sniper squad, which are all pretty good. The sniper squad is okay because the Soviets have a direct comparison to Mosin, you have the Car 98. And the Rifleman Squad is pretty good, the Gewehr 3340, that's pretty good considering it has a pretty good scope, pretty good shot, and it has a pretty bayonet. And for lastly, you have the tank, the Panzer II. Honestly, it kind of suffers compared to the T-60, but that's alright. Level 2, you have the MP-28. This thing is kind of terrible, if you ask me. The squad itself, I highly suggest that you upgrade it to the max, because you will be using the Assaulter Squad. This is a level 1 Assaulter Squad, highly suggest that you use it. Level 3, you have the VZ-24 with the Engineer Squad. Throw out the VZ-24, but use the Engineer Squad. The VZ-24 is a good gun, but honestly, the stock rifle is much better in my opinion, according to sights. But the VC-24, if you can understand the sights, use it. But the Engineer Squad, I highly suggest that you upgrade it to full. Level 4, you have the HS-132, A1, basically a biplane. Is it really interesting? Not that interesting. Um, it has 4 50kg bombs. Interesting, but I would press skip. Level 5 is the big game changer for the Axis. Um, I highly suggest that you bring upgrade every MP-38 in the campaign and give it to basically all soldiers that can hold this. The MP-38 is basically the base gun. You will be using this thing until you get a direct upgrade, and that's not going to be for a long, long, long time. But there is a, an MP-40. Would you use the MP-40 over the MP-38? They're pretty much the same, albeit the MP-38 is slightly, slightly, just slightly better in terms of range and the MP40 is only slightly better in terms of short distances but really they're pretty much identical MP38 upgrade this thing and to the max and give it to every one of your dudes you really will be using this level 6 your pre-war car 98k throw that thing out and just get the radio squad which it comes with the pre-war car 98k Radio squads are right now are really really important. I highly suggest that you deploy them. I highly suggest that you use them. You will be needing this thing for the rest of the game until you get something better, of course. But that's going to be a long, long time. So upgrade the radio operator squad. Get bombing runs. Do anything. And yeah, level seven. Um, Ju 87 B2. Get this thing over to Panzer II because German tanks as of right now really are quite bad. And you might as well just take a plane, and the plane is not that bad in any comparison. Really good plane, really good dive bomber, and if you know how to dive bomb, good for you. Level 8, a Panzer 3B. Once again, like I said, German tanks are really bad as of right now. Highly suggest that you don't use them, but that's that. Level 9, you have, you have a German anti-tank rifle, the PZB-38. Don't suggest that you use it. Um, honestly, I don't even suggest using the squad. Level 10 is the MG-13 with the Machine Gunner Squad. Really suggest that you put it in your lineup. Really suggest that you use it. MG-13 is a really good MCG. You'll be using this machine gun until the late game, and you'll thank me for it. And finally, you get to level 11 MP-40. Why would you be using this when you have the MP-38? Just get the MP-38, mac that thing out, and put it in your lineup. The MP-40 is pretty much the MP-38, but at another level, so... Yeah, get the MP-38, max that thing up. Like I said, really, really good assault weapon. So, that's that. Um, level 12, you have Panzer 3E. Once again, I really don't like this tank for some reason. I'd rather be using a Stuka. Level 13, a ZB-26. Honestly, the ZB-26 is technically a direct upgrade, but the MG-13 is much better in multiple ways. So, stick with the MG-13. The ZB-26 is quite bad. Um, compare when comparison to the MG-13 for obvious reasons. One is being the sights, and the other one is being the rate of fire. In which the MG-13 does slightly better in the former, but not the latter. But you technically don't need that higher rate of fire for the MG-13. And yeah, level 14 is a mortar squad. Don't use it. Level 15 is a BF-109 F1. Quite interesting. Um, would I use this over the Stuka? No, sadly, no. After that, you have level 16 pre-war car 98k with a scope. 
If you're using a sniper squad, I would suggest that you put it in because it is free, the first one. But do not get it over the car 90k normal scope. So that's that. Level 17 car 90k with a grenade launcher. Uh, get it, put it in your squad, and call it a day. Put it, give it to every rifleman that you can get, get, and that's that. Level 18, you have the flamethrower 35. Really depends up to you whether you should be getting it, but I personally don't get it because I like to go in guns blazing with a soldier squad, so that's that. Level 19, BF109 C7. Uh, really useful. Take this thing over the Stuka because of the 20mm cannons. It can rip through planes, it can destroy infantry, and that's that. Level 20, you have the MG34. Put this thing in your lineup because you do have a max, I hope you do have a max machine gunner squad, and just give this machine gun to the max machine gunner squad and you will call it a day. A really good machine gun, really, really good machine gun as a matter of fact. 50 round, MG34, really good machine gun. Level 21, Gewehr 41, um, although it does have a reload problem compared to the SVT38, the Gewehr 41 is pretty good. So put it in your lineup, really good, really good sights, and everything. Level 22, you get a direct upgrade and the Panzer IV-E. Finally, you do have a tank that actually can take out infantry on mass and enemy tanks. Panzer IV-E, get it, put in your lineup. Level 23, the PZB-39, ah, uh, I wouldn't use it once again. Level 24, Gewehr 98 with a sniper mount. Now, at this point, you will, I, I highly suggest that you take and start leveling up your sniper squads because this is the point in which you technically do need your sniper squads before this point by any chance of the imagination if you're wondering like with all of my free to play squads you're gonna be deploying the assaulter squad the machine gunner squad and the radio operator squad those are gonna be your top three but by the time you get reached level 24 start upgrading your sniper squads for obvious reasons and that is gonna be coming within um, a few levels, and to be exact, a few lot of levels. But start your upgrade, um, I'll tell you guys when to really start upgrading the squads. But at level 25, a JU-87R2, um, quite interesting plane, uh, how would I use it? No, uh, just get the BF-109, BF-110, that one's better. Level 26, you have the MP-35-1, this machine gun is a direct upgrade to the MP-38. Um, really highly suggesting you put it in your lineup, really really good, really clean sights, really good, it's basically a direct upgrade, I, there's nothing a lot for me to say, it's really good. Level 27, the ZH-29, pretty good rifle, a direct upgrade to, I kid you not, the Gewehr 41, really put it in your lineup and that's that. Level 28, pretty much another useless AT squad. 29, a pretty much a tank, a Panzer 3J, that's pretty useless compared to the, the Panzer 4E. But that said, once you get to level 30, you get a terrible submachine gun, the Brita M38. The only issue with this, it has a 20 round magazine, and well, the regular Brita M38 has a 40 round magazine, so this thing is a direct downgrade of the M. P35-1. Um, do not get this thing, get the MP35-1, max that thing out, and deploy. Around this point, level 30, I highly suggest that you get two maxed out sniper squads, and that's because by the time you turn level 31, you're gonna get the third, and it comes with the sniper MKB42H. Now this thing is absolutely terrifying. This thing is the direct upgrade and the direct competitor to basically what the Soviets have. If you have this weapon, you're gonna be good. It's an upgrade to the MP31, the only issue is that it's only available for snipers, so basically you have to deploy three sniper squads and give them all sniper MKB 42 H's. But about that said, this weapon is really good. Uh, the only downside is it, you know how to use the scope. The scope isn't that good, but once you get to learn how to use the scope, it's pretty good. After that, we have level 32, BF 109 F2, pretty much useless. You should be using the Panzer 4 E right now. And after that, the level 33, you get the Flammenwerfer 41. Depends on you whether you should be using it. I personally would not be using it because I, I, I'll, I'll be busy grinding kills with the MKB 42. After that, you have level 34, you have the Panzer IV F1. This thing is better. It's a direct upgrade to whatever tank you had, the Panzer IV E. So get it really good. Really good HG shell and it has a small has a short 75mm cannon, so that's good. Level 35, the Carly M39M. 
pretty good squad. As of right now, you'll still be using your three assault rifle squad, uh, your three sniper squads, one tank squad, Carly 39M. Still use it. Put it in uh, your assault rifle squad placements, and that's that. Level 36 BF 109 F2. I have no idea why this thing is here. It's basically the exact same thing as the C7. So I have no idea. Level 37 and Panzer 3 J1. This is a direct downgrade to the F1, the Panzer IV F1, so I would not suggest that you get it. Level 38, you have the MKB-42H. This is the weapon that you should be giving in your Assaulter Squads. Put them in your Assaulter Squads. Finally, you do have a competitor to the MKB-42H with the Sniper Scope, and as of right now, if you are interested in removing your Sniper Squads with the MKB-42H, uh, go for it. Um, I personally would not, because basically you do have four guys holding MKB-42Hs at this point. But of course, it does have its upsides and downsides. So yeah, getting uh, level 38 Assaulter Squads with three Assaulter Squads holding MKB-42s, that's insanity. Would I get for it? Yeah, pretty much I would, but that's that. Level 39, you finally have something that you can actually counter T-34s with, and that's the Panzer IV F2. Would I get it? Yes! Put it in your lineup, you really would be needing this thing. But that's it guys, that's all it for Axis Moscow. This obviously has been possible for the friends at Discord, meaning that if you haven't liked, subscribe, or join the Discord, I highly suggest that you join. And that's all it for today guys, I hope this video was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.